Thank you, Amelia. Questions and concerns remain after conflicting reports about radioactive contamination at Jana Elementary. Fox News' Laura Simon is in Florissant with the latest from last night's school board meeting. An interesting new development from last night's hours long school board meeting. According to our partners at the St. Louis Post Dispatch, Jana Elementary School hired a third party to conduct another study to find whether there are harmful levels of radioactive contamination. So according to this new study conducted by SCI Engineering based in St. Charles, they essentially found the same results that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers did. There are not harmful levels of contamination. So now school leaders are working to make sense of not only two, but now three reports. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers told the school board and the public that the school is safe based off their studies done last month. They told district leaders their testing found no radioactive contamination beyond what occurs naturally in the environment. But before that, a private firm called Boston Chemical Data reported excessive levels of radioactive materials in the school building and campus. This prompted the school to close and move students to virtual learning until they could place them into different schools. Last night, the board questioned the president of the Boston Chemical Data Corp. He performed the sampling and wrote the report saying they found more than 400 potentially active microparticles. Unfortunately, um, five of the seven worst or highest results that we got for radioactivity from these microparticles came from either the Jenna School itself or from the neighborhood around the Jenna School. The Boston Chemical Data Corps told the school board they used x-ray analysis in conducting its study, while the Army Corps of Engineers told the board they did not. Reporting in Florissant, I'm Laura Simon.